good morning all of you i am from cyber batch and today i am demonstrating the task 2 which is software cracking so let me brief what is software cracking in this uh, order to do software cracking firstly we will create a file which is program.c then we will convert this file into extension.exe so that it will be it will be able to get in disassembler and we can further modify it so firstly i have created the file program 1.c which is here stdio.h means standard input output then std library.h then we have created a main function in this main function we have initialized three variables and assigned their values then we have applied the condition that if b will equal to be 1 then it will print yes b is equal to 1 otherwise it will print no b is not equal to 1 so we will simply save this file we will just save this file named program 1.c and all files just so now we have saved our program and now to convert this from .c to .exe we will use this developer command prompt firstly we will select the directory where we have saved our program this is the path we will simply copy it and change the directory so now we can see the all the files in this uh, folder by using dir command and <coughs> so here we have our program 1.c so if you don't know that what is the command to compile the program or command to convert this particular program in executable or assembly then we have this command for help you can go through this command and you will able to get all the all the uh, commands which will be for any executable file or any other file like here we have slash fe to convert an executable file so we will simply compile and link our program 1.c file then we will simply use this keyword slash fe and here we got our executable file program 1.exe along with program 1.obj and here you can see in the folder itself it is here so now we have got our program 1.exe what we will do now we have used here debugger uh, disassembler only debugger there are also some other disassembler which can be used so we will simply go in this and open our executable file so when we have loaded our program in this uh, we can see here it is showing call program and this is the number when we have loaded this program it is empty nothing is here and if we will simply run it you can see um, wait a second let me just reload this when we have played this program we have got no b is not equal to 1 which was our general answer for this program that b is uh, not equal to 1 because the value of b is 2 and we are we have given the condition for b to be 1 so now what we will do we'll just reload the program 
and we have we will search for text strings text strings such as uh, you can see here that uh, b is equal to 1 b is, b is not equal to 1 these are text strings which are present in all uh, means you can make any program but it will include some kind of text strings so here we can see that our output was b is not equal to 1 means our program is able to run until here so what we will do we will simply apply a breakpoint here and now using double click we will open this here using this option we can switch to the uh, our windows either cpu or the main one so now in order to know the proper procedure of our how our program runs what we will do the first very first instruction is push evp we will apply a breakpoint here so now we will able to follow all the instructions line by line so the very first instruction was push ebp means it is base pointer so now if we will move to next instruction it is saying move ebp.esp means stack pointer will be moved into base pointer the very next is instruction is subtract zero from stack pointer similarly other we have other instructions here if we relate it to the base pointer so we have here ebp minus 8 is 1 here it is also ebp minus 8 is 1 then for next command ebp minus 4 2 and ebp minus c it will be 3 Here you can see ebp minus 4 is 2, ebp minus 8 is 1 and here c is 3. But when we will switch to the next instruction, sorry this one, it is ebp minus 4 1 whereas here we have ebp minus 4 2. So we need to change this assessment uh, instruction so we will just assemble this and we will change this to 2. It got matched that's why it further shifted to the next instruction now it has reached to JNZ then we have reached push program call and then simply it has jumped all the other instructions and reached out of the program now if we will run this same program We have assembled we have changed this to two. And assemble it, then cancel, then further instructions. And after this, when we will run our program, it is showing output yes, b is equal to 1. Whereas our program is still the same no changes are here and our output is yes b is equal to 1 so we have modified our software and this is the way that we can do software cracking and now if we want our this software to be saved means patched when we use uh, when uh, we cannot uh, get this software we generally download the cracked version of that so let me show you that as well 
I have already saved that. So what we will do in the command prompt itself, we will change the directory and let's see what are the files in this. We have program.exe and the patch to which was uh, which after that uh, modification we have saved program hack.exe so if we run here program.exe it is showing no b is not equal to 1 and at the same point if we run our patched version of the software it is saying yes b is equal to 1 whereas the file of ours is still same so here we have downloaded our patched file and also done the software cracking so it was all about the software cracking we have simply made a c file converted it into executable file and then using this assembler oli debugger we have modified it thank you